This algebra lesson is about how to solve systems of equations using elimination. We'll start with the steps of how to do that. The first one is to line up your like terms. The second is to eliminate by adding. And to do that, you may need to multiply first. The next step is to sub into one equation. So use that answer that you got in step two to plug it into an equation and solve for the other variable in step three. And step four is to write your answer as an ordered pair. So that would be like x, y. I'm going to look at one example here on the front and two on the back. For the first example, we have y plus 3x equals negative 2, and 2y minus 3x equals 14. Okay, I will notice that these two have exactly the same coefficient, that's that number in front, with opposite sign. So th these are already lined up, that's good. We don't need to multiply because these are exact opposites. We can eliminate them and add straight down. 1y plus 2y is 3y, negative 2 plus 14 is 12. To get y by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and y is equal to 4. So in my ordered pair, my y value is going to be 4. My x value I can get by choosing one of these and plugging in for y. So instead of y, I'm going to choose the first one and do 4, plus 3x equals negative 2, 3x equals negative 6. Divide both sides by 3, and x equals negative 2. And that's it, so that I can get my ordered pair. If I flip to the other side of my fold, I'm going to try two more examples to show you some more special cases. Example number two is 2x plus y equals 3 and negative x plus 3y equals negative 12. Now, in this one, I'll notice that they are lined up. My x's, my y's, and my numbers. But there isn't anything that cancels because while this one is negative, it's not negative 2x, which would have to be the exact opposite to make it do that. Since that's not happening, and this is not happening either, I'm going to put both in parentheses, and I'm going to crisscross this number out front. So I'm going to put the 2 here, the 1 here. I'm going to multiply 1 across all the way here. There's nothing to do when I multiply 1. That just is itself. This one I'm going to do 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2x. 2 times 3 is 6y. And 2 times negative 12 is negative 24. These two cancel. When I add straight down, I have 1y plus 6y is 7y. 3 and negative 24 is negative 21. Divide both sides by 7, and y equals negative 3. Once I have my y value, I want to get my x value. I'm going to choose the second one here. So negative x plus 3 times negative 3 from here equals negative 12. Um, that'll just be negative, since I have negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. I don't like all those negatives, so I'm just going to flip right here. You don't have to do that, just to make it easier for me. Subtract 9 from both sides, and x is equal to 3. So our point is 3, negative 3. Let's look at one last example, number 3. My system is 5x minus 2y equals negative 32, and 3y plus 2x equals 10. You'll notice on this one that my variables are not lined up. See, there's an xy and there's a yx. That won't work. So I need to rearrange. I'm going to rearrange the second since they're all positive. That just keeps it a little bit easier for me. Now I have it rearranged and they're lined up. There's nothing that cancels automatically. So to get that to work, I'm going to switch these numbers. 5 goes here, 2 goes here. 2 times 5 is 10x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4y. 2 times negative 32 is negative 64. 5 times 2 is 10x. 5 times 3 is 15y. And 5 times 10 is 50. These are both still 10x, so that's good. At least they're the same um, coefficient. The problem is there isn't one that's negative, so to do that, I'm going to flip all of my signs. I did that. Now these will cancel. Negative 4 and negative 15 is negative 19y. Negative 64 and negative 50 is negative 114. Divide both sides by negative 19, and y is equal to 6. And now that I have what y equals, I'm going to plug into one of my equations to get x. I'm going to choose that second one. So 2x plus 3y equals 10. 3 times 6 is 18. Copy everything else down. 
divide by 2, and x equals negative 4. Once I have that x value, I can write my ordered pair as negative 4, 6, and I'm totally done. My assignment is a 4. It's page 401, numbers 1 to 9, and they're very similar all elimination.